Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our MCQ's discussion today is uh, reptiles. Let's move to the question number one. Reptiles are the first amniotes to evolve. And which of the following is not the function performed by amniotic layers? Amniotic layers, they perform a variety of functions such as waste storage, gases exchange and protection from desiccation in the dry environment, dry terrestrial environment. But protection from predator is not the function of these amniotic layers such as amnion, chorion or elentois. But protection from predators, it requires some other strategies at adult level. Number two, Sphenodon, Sphenodon punctatus uh, belongs to the order Rhynchospelia and other species uh, such as Testudines, it includes turtles, Tataras are Rhynchocephalians, while Skermata includes snakes, lizards, and worm lizards. These are the four living orders of reptiles and crocodiles, alligators, camons, and gavioles. They belong to the order Crocodilia. Question number three. Completely divided ventricles they are observed in. All reptiles they have incompletely divided ventricles except order Crocodilia. Crocodiles they have completely divided ventricles like mammals and birds. Question number four. Which of the following layer in amniotes allows gaseous exchange? Gaseous exchange is a function of chorion, while amnion is a protective layer, and elentois, it works in waste storage. So right option over here is Charlie. Number five, a group of reptiles having upper and lower openings in the temporal region of the skull are known as diapsids. The group having only one orbit is known as anapsids and they are turtles. Synapsids, they have eye orbit as well as temporal fenestrae, temporal openings. And if there are two temporal fenestrae, two temporal openings, upper and lower temporal openings, such group is known as diapsid and includes trinodon and extinct orcosaurs. So right option is beta. Which of the following are representatives of subclass Lepidosauria? Lepidosauria, it includes snakes, lizards, as well as Tartara. So right option here will be Delta. No living member of this group survives today, but are considered as ancestors of mammals. The ancestor of mammals are actually synapsids. As you can see, this phylogenetic is three phylogenetic tree that synapsid they uh, actually modified or developed into mammalian group. So right option in this question is delta. According to cladistic interpretations, birds should be classified as, birds they're classified uh, in class apes, but according to cladistic interpretations, they should be classified with reptiles as a subgroup. As you can see over here, turtles, lizard snakes, crocodiles, and then birds. So right option is a beta over here. Keratin is a resistant protein in the skin. It's also found in the skin of reptiles and is usually found com in combination with dash to prevent water loss. The other company which can prevent water loss in the skin is lipid. So right option should be Charlie. Members of the order Testudines, turtles, they possess all of the following features except bony teeth. As they have carapace and their, their shell, bony shell, keratinized beak, but bony teeth, they are not the features of turtles and tortoises. They are, they are missing in this group. So right option is Charlie. What is the name of ventral portion of the shell in order Testudines or turtles? Right option is plastron beta. As you can see in this diagram as well, that the ventral portion of the shell is named as plastron. And external part is carapace. How many cervical vertebrae are found in turtles? These are eight. 
and mammals are having seven. Each for sexual maturity in most of the turtles is seven to eight years. That is, the turtles, they reproduce in the age of seven to eight years. And the clit size is usually five to 100. So right option in this case, it should be delta. Number 15, the lower jaw has a single row of teeth in Tatara, Sphenodon, but number of rows of teeth in the upper jaw is two. So right option is beta, Tatara, there are two rows in the upper jaw, while single row of teeth in the lower jaw. Lizards, they belong to order Schermata and largest suborder of this order Schermata is Soria, from which actually lizards belong. As you can see, a variety of lizards in this picture. Serpentines, it includes snakes. Chameleons and anolis, they are well known for the ability to change color in response to illumination as well as in response to temperature or their behavioral condition. So right option is delta. First picture is uh, the picture of chameleon. In the second picture where you can see two members, it is the picture of anolis group or genus. Species in suborder serpentines are more than 2000 and it includes snakes. Crocodiles are distinguished from other reptiles on the basis of characteristic of their skull. That is, they are having usually projected skull, projected snout. So right option is Charlie. Frequency of ecdysis, shedding of the outer part of the skin, varies between reptiles, but is more common in juvenile stages of different reptiles. That's why right option will be alpha. Development of battle olfaction in crocodiles, it coincides with the development of their longer snout and that's why they're having well-developed sense of smell as compared to other reptiles. Ribs of snakes, they have muscular connections with their large belly scales and it allows their undulating movements on the ground. So right option over here is delta. Number 23, bipedal locomotion developed for the first time in reptile groups. Ancient reptiles, uh, they showed bipedal locomotion in certain recent reptiles. They also depict, show, represent some bipedal locomotion at, at some points. So right option is Charlie. Locomotion of primitive reptiles more closely resembles with it more closely resembles with the salamander locomotion as primitive reptiles they developed from amphibians as a picture of salamander over here and initial, initially the reptiles they showed movement resembling to the salamanders. Venomous glands of snakes they are actually modified slivy glands and as you can see they are a slightly gland components of slightly gland, a compressor muscle, venom gland, and then the fangs through which they inject the venomous secretions into the victim. So right option is Charlie. Number 26. Most of the snake poisons they belong to some of the following which of the following category. Most of the snake poisons, they could be a mixture of neurotoxins destroying neurons and hemotoxins destroying the blood cells. So right option is Charlie over here. Primarily neurotoxins, they are produced by all of the following except vipers because cobras, coral snakes and sea snakes, they produce neurotoxins. But the poisons of vipers as shown in the last picture, they are primarily hemotoxins. So right option is delta over here. Which of the following structure allows the bones of skull in snakes to open widely while swelling? The snakes, they are having flexible joints at the base of their skull, which allows wide opening of their mouths while swelling large prey. 
So right option is Charlie. Number 29. The blood pressure of giraffe is double than human to pump the blood from heart to brain. The amount of distance covered by this pumping is actually up to two meters. That is, giraffe, they're having a large difference between a large range of distance between the heart and brain that is up to two meters. That's why they have to pump the blood with a forceful expulsion. So that's why they are having twice blood pressure as compared to human. Which of the following is are completely separated in heart of crocodiles? Crocodiles have atria and ventricles completely separated. So right option is Charlie. That's why they're having fully developed four chambered heart like uh, birds as well as mammals. Pacemaker is modified sinus venosus. Pacemaker is also known as sinoatrial node and in primitive times it was chamber sinus venosus which later on reduced and modified to form sinus venosus uh, into sinoatrial node that is also known as pacemaker region of the heart. Periods of apnea or no breathing is observed in crocodiles as well as turtles and water snakes. So right option is delta. Number 33, most of the reptiles, they are ectotherms, that is they are dependent upon external source for the heat, body heat or body temperature. That's why they are classified as ectotherms. For mammals and birds and flying insects, they are endotherms. Cerebrum of reptiles is larger than amphibians and its larger size is usually attributed to the increased sense of olfaction or smell. So right option is alpha. As you can see here, over here, cerebrum of the reptiles is a larger chamber as compared to other chambers. It shows the development of cerebral parts over the course of evolutionary history in different groups of vertebrates as well. Which of the following senses is considered as dominant sense in most of reptiles? The dominant sense is most of reptiles, which is used for their predation skills as well as other activities, is vision. So, right option is alpha. Horned lizards, these skirts are fluid from the eyes as a defensive mineral. The fluid is actually blood, as you can see in this picture. Median eyes in reptiles may have all of the following features except median eyes, they have lens, they may have nerve as well as retina, but these eyes are not used for image formation and they can, all, they can only help in the direction of light and dark period in reptiles. Jacobson's or Romero nasal organs in most of reptiles is responsible for the detection of it is used for the detection of smell, as you can see over here, and tongue is involved in providing chemical from the air to the vimeronasal organ for the detection of smell or different chemicals in the air. So right option is alpha. Number 39. Pit organs of the snakes, they're used for Pit organ is a source for thermal reception. So as you can see over here, it's uh, just situated below their eyes and they're used for temperature detection. Most of the snakes, they rely on this organ for detection of their prey, such as pit vipers. The functional kidneys of the adult reptiles, they are metanephric. As you can see, pronephros kidneys they are found in earliest animals, and mesonephros kidneys they are observed in fishes as well as amphibians. While adult reptiles, birds, or mammals they are having metanephros type of kidneys. So right option is beta. Number forty-one. All male reptiles they possess an intermittent or copulatory organ for sperm transfer. 
except for the Torah. So right option is Charlie. How many families of lizards? They show Parchin or Genesis and it's uh, number six. Beta is the right option. That is, there are six families in lizards which show parthenogenesis. Number 43. Courtship in snakes is based primarily on which stimulation, which type of sense, and it is uh, basically tactile sensation which is involved in the courtship behavior of many snakes. Temperature ranges between 32.5 to 33 degrees Celsius results in what type of offspring, male or female, abnormal or both. So right option over here is male, Charlie. Which of the following are known as flying reptiles? Ancient group of pterosaurs, they are known as flying reptiles and there is a huge variety which has been known through fossil evidences. So right option is alpha. That was all about today's discussion. In next lecture, we will be discussing birds as well as mammals. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Allah Hafiz.